Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living and a retirement worth having. The people who are living just above the poverty line have a rage towards people. They like to rage in their mind about what they feel their rights are to do on behalf of their companies and organizations. I've talked about this once before, but I'm going to talk about consumer rights again. I'm also going to talk about risk management another time so that people really understand what they're paying for when they give an employee any dime. When I talk, I like to rhyme because it helps me to, well, make up time in pretending that someone's actually listening. The truth is people do listen, and Jesus Christ, the Lord of all people, according to Christendom, is always listening. He is never mocking a life that he creates. You see, the Lord that I believe in is probably the same Lord that you believe in. I just don't call him what you call him. And I have a right underneath the American treaties that establish us as a superpower around the world to worship anything I choose at any hour. When we move ourselves to our own federal laws, we also have the right to freedom of assembly. And we have the right to live our lives without being mocked, without being stolen from, without being harmed, without being medicated, without being solicited, without being sexualized, without being sold as slaves. But there are people today in the retail establishments that forget who they work for. They meet someone casually through their employment, and then they start to play a stupid game. Either a stupid game with law enforcement, or a stupid game with military, or just a stupid game with other employees. They think that one comes in, that one's different, that one's odd, that one, and they start to discriminate. They discriminate on behalf of their companies because the only way those motherfuckers ever met someone was on behalf of their stupid company. When they were walking towards their business, they met that individual on behalf of their company. When they're inside their store representing a company, they met someone, a stranger, a guest in the store, a consumer, a customer, on behalf of their company. Their relationship never shifts outside of that business opportunity for their organization, for their corporation, for their, well, conglomerate that might have stores across the nation. You see, most stores have a receipt, and most good quality stores have a receipt with the number of their establishment on it. It helps a company to quickly find their own store, to quickly receive feedback, and to quickly understand what to do about that. In the world of marketing, we know that one negative comment made can harm a company. But there are plenty of people who like to lie, steal, and cheat people out of the honor that they should receive for coining terms, for establishing new trends, and for doing things for their friends. You see, usually it costs a person a minimum of $1,000 to make a video. But sometimes when you have a good relationship with someone who's in marketing, you might get 7 to 10 videos for you, or for your business, or for even your family or a combination of all for next to nothing. There's always someone that wants to complain about what they've gained without thinking about the many hours that were received in love, care, and kindness from someone who serves them as an individual. When a person cares for another, they communicate that. But people who work for companies and participate in games on someone's life on reporting what someone buys, on recording what someone purchases, is literally ready to create their own demise. You see, consumers have rights today. Consumers have rights in every way. Consumers have a right to privacy, and if you were doing to yourself, or if things were being done to you that you were doing to others, you'd be up in arms. We've seen you do it. We've seen you complain about employees. We've seen you do things without ease, and we've seen you be an imperfect human being. But in the world of men and women who are adults and age of maturity, 
they definitely have accountability for what they do and what they say. And when someone steals information, when they carry it across a, well, nation, they literally ruin their own lives. You see, a person looking for something is always looking for something. But children that like to play games at the end of their parents' life are doing so to keep their friends close and their siblings far away. Because if a sibling with integrity is too close to a family, they will ferret out the lies. They will see the theft. They will destroy nothing. They'll simply report what they see is not best. When a person like me makes a recording, I make a recording for two reasons. That my future employer is expecting me to have some unique portfolio so that they know what to not only talk about, they know where their lines of life should go. A person's heritage is represented by everyone in American culture. You see, families have long been mixed and blended across a millennium here. And even though that might be the wrong length of time term, it is absolutely what we have to prime our children to regard. When a black child is uppity and out loud in front of white people, what does that white person consider? Do they consider the person's individual personality, or do they just stock it up and stack it up against everything else they've seen on TV, everything that they feel or felt in watching rap music on one of the pop channels, or one of the things they see in their own way of what's going on in the world today? The world today is out of control, it is truthful. The world today is facing a pandemic and an epidemic that should be reminding people what Jesus did for them on the cross and what they should be doing in their own life, which is to get on their knees and pray. But most people today don't bother going to a house of worship. They work on any given Sunday. They watch football almost all the time through that season. They get into baseball on Sundays. They watch basketball on Sundays, whatever it might be, whatever the sport is, whether it's golf, classics, whatever, they're busy with that. They don't walk into a house of God because once they get there, they get evaluated, they get judged, they get played with, they get harmed, they get stalked, they get berated, and they get stolen from. You see, in life we decide who we are in front of the God Most High, and at the end of our life, God debilitates us. I had a father who was a slay or lay alcoholic who sort of had an abusive relationship with my mother as well as some of my siblings. But at the end of his life, he matured himself. He grew himself. He attended church. He served the community. He saw poverty and realized he had some, such wealth that he could be himself. He also recognized that the more he separated himself from direct relationships with a spouse, and the more he put himself into the community to serve it, he became a healthier, whole, holier, if you will, individual. At the end of his life, he was certainly an innocent child in a way, but he was still there in his mind, thank God, each day. But what he sees now from heaven, I have to wonder, does he see the love and kindness of a family that should be there, or does he see the selfishness, the theft, and the ugliness of children he didn't know were like that. In my life, I've lost a lot of property to siblings who steal, lie, and cheat, thinking they are above my life in some way, of which they're not. Each and every sibling in my life has destroyed their own life before Jesus by standing in courts of laws, lying about their rights. You see, none of them were in the day-to-day -day aspect of my business, None of them were a part of really making a living for me, although I did do some work for a sibling to help her ministry in a school system, but the company principal knew that. They got a hell of a lot of work for next to nothing because of a, well, not prenuptial relationship, because of, well, nepotism that worked to their benefit. In life, we have moments of time to talk about what real terms are in the human resources world, but any parent that employs a child has a risk to being labeled a nepotist. A nepotist is someone who employs a child, but a foolish person marries a man who goes wild. 
then they end up living in the streets. They end up possibly in cybercrime like me. But what we know about cybercrime is it's usually conducted by someone who has no lawful right to a person's name, no lawful right to a person's property, no lawful right to a person's possessions, no lawful right to their legacy. You see, when I was in a jail situation because someone in my family decided to destroy my life with lies, a jailer took all my property. They took everything I went into that jail with. They didn't return one thing. They stole bank records. They stole bank cards. They stole life insurance policies. They stole photographs of people I loved. They stole metaphysical things. They stole Japanese antiques. They stole clothing. They stole necklaces that were one of a kind. They stole hats that were gifted to me by my father and my son. They stole pants that were simply a oddity. They stole things. They stole my second pair of glasses and they wore them in front of me. They stole my handkerchiefs. They ruined things of mine. And all throughout time, someone was taking my handkerchief that I had my mother make for me and cutting it in half to play me in a community. They lied about their rights to do that, but more importantly, they stole 24 thumb drives of intellectual property and a set of keys to my storage unit. Now, most of my goods from Japan have probably been depleted. My books that cost me thousands of dollars for my profession are probably gone by the storage people who kept walking in and out of my unit, talking to me about things I never showed them, and openly the husband of that family was wearing my hats and my clothes without consent. Whatever happened to Michael and Michelle, who the fuck knows? But that company still hit me again and again with their lying black operatives who were stealing property from me and other people. I often was there to try to look at things I could sell, and then every time I'd get myself ahead again, my family would hit me again. And I don't mean my personal family of choice. I mean a family of origin who lied about their rights. They married alcoholics. They married passive-aggressive people. They married people with split personality disorders, and they just thought they'd end up healthy. No, you were a child of abuse and you became an abuser of me. And in your life, you think you have the right to edit these videos, and you don't, you see. A gaming brother literally molested me, tried to, practically tried to kill me, which made me wonder, did he kill my original brother when he was 12? Did my father's behavior do that? You see, back then, they didn't have the same type of corner capability, or did my mother do that? You see, you never know what's going to happen when you face God. What you'll be liable for, what you'll be responsible for, is totally on your life. But when you played in someone's life and you thought you were going to be a good wife to them, and then some sibling interfered and chose to tell you things that you hold most dear, they had no fucking right to do that. What they did was participate in incest. They are incestuously going after my friends and family, literally connecting to them on Facebook, going after old lovers, going after old friends, going after people in a way that is not their lawful right to any end. And that incestuous sibling could end up in prison, but that will only happen if police officers gave a shit about everyone's life, not just a few people and a little bit. Every day I have the blessing of the Lord when the sun wakes me up or when Jesus says it's time to get up, little man. And I get up on his call, no one else's call. But the bitches of this community, the bastards of the force who keep cutting my beard will end up in Satan's house. Because at no time did any Christ or any God of Odin or any other name say to you, you have a right to lord over any child of mine.